Well, folks, thanks for sticking around till the end. You've made it. I hope we haven't annoyed you too much today. We're just talking about some good wine and about your May 2020 package or 2022 package, sorry, we've been talking all these 2020 wines, uh, but I am so excited to announce this final wine. Um, we have never done one of these before, have we? As far as you know? As far as I know, time, um, this is the first uh, single rattle Malbec that I've ever worked with myself, and I don't think the range has ever produced a Malbec either, so. Man, here we go, folks. 2019 Malbec after, out of the Yakima Valley in Washington <laughs> States. Uh, earlier we were talking about a little red steak with your wine. I think this is where we're going with this guy. Mm -hmm. right, so Malbec is uh, is an interesting grape in my opinion. It's obviously a Bordeaux grape. It's one of the five noble Bordeaux grapes. But it, maybe this is just my opinion. It's the one that doesn't play well with the others. From my experience, I can blend Cab Merlot, uh, Petit Bordeaux, um, and Cab Franc in almost any you know in any in any sort of ratio, and they always kind of work well together and yeah. produce well. The Malbec always sticks out in a sore thumb to me. Um, I, I don't think it plays well with the other ones. Uh, so for this reason, I don't like using it in blend. It's not something that we brought in a whole lot. But as a single variety, I think it offers uh, its own unique characteristics. And this one doesn't disappoint. I'll put it that way. Um, um, it does not disappoint. Um, I know how excited I am um, when I was, uh, I think I may have mentioned this in the last uh, time we did this video, but um, I basically added two bottles of Arcadia when I first started working here. And it was the 2020 Cali one, and it was the 2019 Malt. Um, and those were basically my two introductions. Mm -hmm. And I, basically a game changer for me because I tried those wines and I was like, yes, I want to work at that wine. They have excellent wines. Um, okay. I do, before we keep going about the Malbec, I do have to put this little note in. This is another small lot production. Um, we were not able to get a lot of these grapes when we brought them in. Um, and so we only have about less than 100 cases of this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and so to make sure that everybody can get some, um, we are going to make this a non swap in wine. Um, and it is limited to two bottles per purchase. And that hurts me to be putting limits on a wine like that because I want everybody to have access to great wine, um, but we do want everybody to get a chance to get it. Um, and so we also want to uh, see how this goes down the road with teaching it um, for our library program. And so, um, sorry to burst some hearts there. Um, Very limited supply. So. It's a limited supply and we want to make sure everybody has some. So now let's talk about how this wine smells and tastes. I, I was gonna say, as I'm kind of talking about, we, we want to see how this ages. It is still a young wine, 2019. It is West Coast fruit. Um, it's still big. It's still young. It still has a ways to grow, kind of grow up. Um, but you can right on the nose, and, and judging by the color, you can see that this wine it, it brings the heat. It, it brings uh, a lot to the table. Yes, it does. Uh, dark fruit, dark chocolate. Uh, hints of pencil lead, you know, there's an earthiness, there's, a, there's definitely a cooked fruit on the nose. Um, very elegant, very, very inviting. Yeah. This is a wine that I would describe as being complex. There's so much going on with the flavor profile, mm -hmm. whether we're talking about the aromatics, or we're talking about the palate, whether it hits on the palate, from the front to the middle to the finish, there is something going on in every spot, um, which is just becomes a game of mm -hmm. what like is today, right? So, and, and I like it when a wine gets complicated, but it, it's it's in harmony. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, there's no dissonance in this wine. It doesn't have sharp edges that stick out, but it has, I mean, I was talking about, there's a lot going on. And it even kind of blurs the line between sensation of like the tannins and the alcohol and the flavor, the kind of fruit, and you kind of can't differentiate the two. And I kind of enjoy that, that sensation on the wine where feel and flavor kind of disappear. Um, because that, that doesn't happen often. Wines feel a certain way and wines taste a certain way, but this one, it, it kind of walks that line and, and you can't tell whether you're sensing something, the feeling of it or actually the flavor. Um, and, it, and it's heavy, the, the tannins are there, it's something that's definitely lasting. Uh, and it's heavy, but it's smooth. I mean, it's velvety on my tongue. You know, but then it, you get the oak impressions, right? Those oak characteristics are definitely there on the finish. It, it just has a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you said it well, it all plays well together, which is very interesting because you were mentioning at the beginning mm -hmm. how Malbec does not seem to play well with other grapes, 
Yeah, but by the itself, language profile by yeah. itself is just it's kind of kind of harmony. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very excited to to offer this one to you guys. And yes. unfortunately, it was a small lot. It was a later decision ad of uh, we need something else in the line program. I got these grapes later in the season. Um, but very very pleased with how it ever even turned out. So. But it turned out so well that we do have Malbec in barrel right now. Mm -hmm. And so we will have a 2021 version of it. Yep. And we will not have the small lot that we have. We're we making have, more this We're making more <laughs> this time. So we got a grape. We realized how good it was, how easy, how, really, I don't know if easy is the right way to say it, but just how getting such a good grape that we've never done before coming out like this called for us to do it again. Absolutely. So, and, and I'm personally taking it as a challenge to find the grapes that Malbec does play with well, because I think this grape in the right blend, uh, it might work, but I'm, I'm going to venture away from Bordeaux. So keep a lookout for Malbec being in, in some blends coming up. So. Well, that is very exciting. Um, I know that Malbec has a beautiful color and it mm -hmm. adds a lot of uniqueness to things. So. Let's let the mad scientist go into his lab, do a little experimenting, and see what he has to produce for us. Um, so with that said, that is the uh, May 2022 Wine Club package. I think it's a great balance. You get a little bit of everything yeah. um, in this top package to around. Just top to bottom, exactly. Uh, just another exciting way to continue our year. The February package was awesome. The May package, fantastic. And we have some other exciting wines that we'll be coming out with later this year. So, very excited uh, for this short and long term feature. Yeah. So, so uh, don't forget, come by May 1st. We'll start pouring all the wines uh, and you can pick up your May 2022 package. Seth, thank you so much for your time. Uh, and we'll see you guys the next time you're in. Cheers. Enjoy.